Well, good afternoon, Tabernacle Baptist family and friends. Today is Tuesday, October the 15th, and uh, I'm running a little behind getting our Monday Minute ready, and uh, hopefully you're having a wonderful day today. I began the last several days thinking on this thought of encouragement. And with all that's going on, uh, watching the news, uh, media, how, how people treat each other, the devastation of this Hurricane Helene, and it, th this thought of, of encouragement. It, it's one thing to encourage someone else. You know, you, you're at church or you're, you're at a coffee shop and you, you speak a kind word and say something to someone, but how often do we personally need encouragement and the, the account of the Bible story I want to be reminded of today is in 1 Samuel number 30, where David and his men were away, and they come home to Ziklag. And for the sake of time, I, I won't read the verses reading up, leading up to it, but uh, their women, their children, their sons, their daughters, they're taken captive. And uh, the men, or those that were with David, rise up against him and becomes very defeated, very frustrated very discouraged. Verse 6 of 1 Samuel 30, and David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved and every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. It's one thing to encourage others. It's another thing when you need that encouragement yourself. To encourage, it really means to be firm, to be strong, to prevail, to support, or to take courage. And so the question is, where do you go when you need encouragement? How do you respond? In, in the account here in 1 Samuel number 30, the Bible says, David encouraged himself in the Lord. You know, most of the time when you and I are offended, uh, hurt people hurt other people. And these men have been hurt. They're frustrated. Their families have been taken from them. And they come and they, they lash out at David. And there's this uncertainty. And the, these men that, that had been together, and now there's a sense of uneasiness. The Bible says in our verse, 1 Samuel 30, verse 6, that David encouraged himself in the Lord. I, I think David thought on the goodness of God. Uh, David began to be reminded of the faithfulness of God. David began to think back over answered prayer and uh, the, the days where God helped him and God guided him and God gave him direction. When we praise the Lord or when praise is in our mouth, there can be no grumbling, no complaining, and no negative speaking. When you and I make God bigger, we make our troubles smaller. You know, who do you turn to for encouragement? Uh, has the Lord allowed something into your life and, and you need the Lord to give you his guidance and give you his direction? Or are you praying about the matter? Or are you walking through the scriptures and allowing the word of God to help your heart? I have three things here about encouraging yourself in the Lord. The first thing, when you go back to Ziklag or when you're at Ziklag, you encourage yourself in the Lord. These are difficult days. These are hard days. These are uh, days where things are so, you, you can't quite see what's ahead, but you know the Lord is in control. In Ziklag, you encourage yourself in the Lord. Number two, at Ziklag, you die to self. And David realized this circumstance and those men rising up against him were, were greater than anything he could handle himself. And so uh, David, David encouraged himself in the Lord. David died to self. And then number three here, David sought divine direction. And I think so often in our lives, d discouragement has a way where it comes over us and we just kind of stay there. and We're almost uh, content to live in that capacity. And the, the, the text says David encouraged himself in the Lord. In other words, he personally looked to the Lord. He personally asked God for help. 
he personally sought the Lord and said, Lord, I, I don't know what's ahead. I don't know how this is going to play out, but God, I, I need you to give me your guidance and to give me your understanding, give me your help. I find it interesting in the text, you never see David angry or grumble or complain or get bitter or frustrated. And we're reminded that the greatest encouragement we'll ever get is from the Lord himself. That, that you and I should think on the goodness of God. First Samuel number 30 and verse 6. David encouraged himself in the Lord. Did those guys still want to stone David? Did those guys still have some angst about the situation? I'm sure they did. But if you know the biblical account there as uh, they, they go in 1 Samuel 30 and David prays, shall we pursue? And they go and regain or capture their enemy and they get their family back, their children back and God does a mighty work. But before that mighty work took place, David encouraged himself in the Lord. And, and I don't know where you're at today or this week, uh, but I would challenge you to look to the Lord. I would challenge you in the midst of your hardship, ask God to help you. I hope you have a blessed week.